For this video, what we wanted to look at is your usual ventilator equipment that you may be connected to your trach or um, to your endotracheal tube and that um, you would usually use until soiled, maybe a week, and then discard. So disconnect your tubings. I'm just going to set those on for right now. So this would be a dirty towel. And um, I am going to just take these tubes and place them in this bin. If you have a bucket, again, make sure it's a good clean bucket. Then fill it with water and non-scented soap. And then just immerse the, the tubing under the water. We're gonna let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes in that soapy water. If you have a filter or a heat and moisture exchanger, some call it, you cannot wash these. You cannot um, uh, reuse them. Now we come back and uh, we're, we're removing our tubes from the soapy bin. So we want to get rid of as much of that soapy water just by draining it out as possible. And then we just put that tube into a nice clean you know, bin of water. We um, are going to let it just soak again for, for at least a few minutes. Then again, our first plan is to just soak these, make sure they're filled and uh, in the soapy water first, and we're gonna soak them for a while, and then move them on to the bin to uh, rinse. But if we need, let's say when you look at this, you can see some uh, sputum or some blood. You may need to take something, out. this is just a little wire brush that I had. Um, if you have a clean, you definitely do not wanna use a used one, but like last time I went to the dentist, they gave me a toothbrush. You can see it's still in its original package. This would be nice, it's sterile. So um, you could use that if it'll fit in there to get it clean. Once that is clean, then just like with the tubings, we're going to put it into the rinse water and that will apply to all your various little pieces that you would have with your ventilator circuit. Make sure at this point, if not before, that you start wearing gloves. And when we take everything out, it's nice and clean, and we move to uh, placing a nice clean towel, okay? So as we're taking the tubes out of the water, we're trying to melt them just a little bit. You don't want to pull them much because if you pull very hard, you'll actually deform the tubes. Remember, these are fairly fragile. They're designed for single use. So um, as you take it out, just gently stretch them and uh, try and get out as much water as possible. Place them on the towel to dry. Taking a uh, non-metal hanger and um, just draping the circuit over. And then this can be hang hung on any door jam, preferably away from the bathroom. One last way that can be done, and that is using a pin. Okay, so I just took tonight, take a nice new clothes pin so that we're not uh, contaminating it. And again, we can hang this now from a door jam uh, and just let the full six foot tubing uh, hang down and drain, uh, helped by gravity. 